Hi, I'm Alex Radcliffe. And I am Ricky. Today we are reviewing Kingdom Run. It's an adorable little game where you and your friends are racing to the finish line. Kingdom Run is put out or published by Ankama Games, and it's going to be very much be a lightweight family style game with a racing motif. You want to explain how to play? Well, the way you win Kingdom Rush is by getting the most points. You get points by being farther along the track because there are a bunch of little things with numbers and the the close the one you're closest to is the one that you get points for at the end of the game. The get you can also get points by getting over here and getting on the numbers. It ranges from So getting all the way to, to the finish line. You'll get the most points getting to the finish, you'll get points for being further along the track. And you can also get points for these coins. They each have a little two on them. So you basically you just have a, a certain amount of coins. Everyone starts the game with three. And the way the game ends is when all of these are covered. So, so the way you take your turn is you roll the dice, is you roll the dice. The, the symbols range from moving you past things all the way to mul doubling what you can do. So for a quick example of the way the dice work is we have putting people to sleep is going to be one face. Uh, getting in or out of water will be another thing because water is one of the trickier spots on the board. You can get really stuck there a lot. Uh, stealing people's money is going to be another face. Then actually just moving by picking up all the people in one spot, dropping off along the board. Uh, catching up to people will be the another face. And then lastly is equals where you can basically copy Doubles. another dice face. And then past that, uh, when you roll the dice, you're going to roll the dice, take your turn, and you, you can roll the dice, and then you have one re-roll. So you can choose any number of actions, and then say, I'm going to re-roll these two, and then that will be your actions for the turn. You have a limit of two dice face that you can take at a time, meaning you can't take more than three of the same, more than two of the same symbol when you roll the dice. You're going to go back and forth until someone ultimately wins the game by getting the, by finishing the end game, as Ricky said, by finishing up those eight spots on the finish line, and then you just simply add up the points, and... Whoever wins, wins the game. Mm -hmm. So, Ricky, what do you think of Kingdom Run? I think it's a cute game. I like it. I like running around the board. I love all of the funny little things, and there's little footprints. I like all the design. I did not notice the footprints, as usual. <laughs> Go ahead. And, and I also like all, how you roll the dice, and there's a bunch of different fun things, like you can put someone to sleep, you can steal their money, that's why I have four and I have only three, and you can, and you can also move along and skip the lakes, which is really important because I can get stuck in a lake for five turns straight. Yeah, it's a good point. Lakes are going to be one of the most frustrating parts of the game from a stance of, of just getting stuck there. Because the only way to move out of a lake is by rolling water, so you have to be very strategic about it. But you're right, that there are opportunities. Because there's a limit of the number of people you can have in a square, if a square is completely filled, you simply With skip past people. it. Yeah, four people. So you completely skip past a filled square, which adds for a lot of opportunity and strategy around knowing when to take a certain type of action in order to completely skip the lake entirely and getting bogged down there. And yep. if you're wondering, how do you know if someone's asleep? <laughs> well, on each thing, there's a sleeping face and an awake face. Ah. Uh, he liked playing with the sleepy faces. When I was playing the stickers on, I did two sleepy face guys and two awake guys. Because yeah. I didn't understand I was one on each side. But it's super cute. I like how that happens. And, and by the way, the rules do have rules about you're not able to sleep. Sleeping basically means that a player yeah. can't move their piece until, until they you... get another sleeping potion, and they wake which it wakes up. them up. But you're not allowed to sleep a player's last piece, so it's never going to be totally frustrating because of that. Yeah, you can, you, you can only have up to three players to sleep. Because one has to keep going, yeah. and you really want to get here because the er cause the later you get here, the lower your points. Yeah, the first person's going to get 13, second 12, 11, one, 10, 10, 9, 9 8, 8, 7. Eight, yeah. seven. And then from there, it's going to be spots on the board, just going to be fixed spots and sections on the board. What do you like the most about this game? Um, I like how simple it is. It's oh. not too overcomplicated. Now, I do like I do love a bunch of games that are complicated, but I do I still need a little help, like counting the points and figuring out how to use my turn. This is a lot more simple. And what do you dislike about the game? Anything? Um, not really. I just I just kind of wish that it, that the board was like a puzzle. 
You know those puzzle things where you have to put oh, them together and not cardboard pieces because that just shifts in all the people. Yeah, because you can it's set up shifting. the board however you want. These all come apart and whatnot. And you can set up your map so there is a little bit of variability to how the board will actually be created. Yeah, but, but it still makes it weird. It does it shift around a lot. Uh, I guess yeah, having a puzzle shifting. would potentially help with that to some degree. Especially in a kid's game with people being a little bit more fidgety. All right, uh, so for me, in terms of what I like, the game, like Ricky said already, the game is very simple. It's simple to learn, simple to teach. Uh, the kids enjoy rolling the dice and enjoy basically stealing money and putting each other to sleep a lot. Yes. Uh, and I enjoy the strategy uh, of seeing where and when I can execute a movement or a series of movements in order to leverage my way across the board. Because there is there is some actual strategy in the game in terms of rolling the footprints will let you pick up a spot of people and move them all, dropping them off along the way, obviously trying to let yourself go further and or skip lakes, which is a big part of the game already. Uh, catching up to people is a very opportune thing where you can take one of your people and move them to the first run of the encounter, again, skipping full spaces. So knowing when and how to do things like that and sometimes even moving your opponent's piece will enable you to then take a follow-up action because of the way you situated the board. So it's a lot of a fun little strategy in that sense. Uh, what I dislike about the game, speaking for myself, is I, when when we've played this together, we've had we've had shorter games, which I really enjoy. They're a fun yeah. play for family and all that. And then we've had some games where some of my children, not you, some of my children exclusively would try to roll and re-roll to just steal money and put people to sleep. Meaning that's they just enjoy that that aspect of, oh, I took your coins or I put you to sleep. And and it kind of can drag down the game state if your kids are, don't get me wrong, they had a blast. But for me, this is a roughly 15 minute game that we have had one particular game. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be 15 minutes, yeah. And we've had one particular game, and, and generally I say it is, generally it is in the shorter yeah, range. Yeah. But we had one game that was like 45 minutes. It was, it was insane because they weren't advancing the game state at all. So that's just one thing to be conscious of. Yes. Um, and I obviously were having fun or they were having fun. So I didn't want to affect the game state. So that would be my overall thoughts. Uh, what are your final thoughts? Um, I think that the game is really cute. It's a good game to, pu to pull out when you want to play a race game, but you, but you want to play it with your friends or kids. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, my final thoughts are going to be simple. When I rate the family weight games, I usually rate them on the stance of both how the kids enjoyed them, uh, whether I enjoyed them playing with the kids, and whether I'd play it with adults. Uh, from that sense, kids had a lot of fun. All the kids have really enjoyed this game. I usually ask them at the end of the games whether we are keeping or getting rid of the game, and they all shouted Keeper. joyously, keeping. Uh, in terms of playing it, with, uh, playing it with the kids, whether I enjoyed it or not, I have had different experiences depending on how fast the game was. I really enjoy it as a 15 to 25 minute game, somewhere in that range, but when it has dragged on, it, it it's not a game I want to play for 45 minutes. It doesn't have that, that depth that keeps me entertained. I'll do it because it makes them happy, but it can be less enjoyable as the game drags on. And finally, as to whether I would play this with other adults, uh, Kingdom Run is not a game. It's fun, it's lightweight, it's whimsical, it's de definitely designed for a younger audience. It does play two to four. We've only played it with four players, for what that's worth. But it's not a game I would pull out for other adults. While there is strategy to the gameplay, there are other lightweight filler games I would prefer to play if playing with adults. That's basically it. Anything else to add? Um, not really. Though you will notice on the path that the terrain does change. Oh, yeah, well, that actually, that much I actually did know. I didn't yeah. notice the footsteps, but I did notice the path uh, changing. Yeah, because all the others are just light and sunny, but this one's really shady yeah. and blue -ish. And so that's basically going to be Kingdom Run, put up by Uncommon Games, a lightweight family game that apparently we do recommend. Until next time, I'm Alex. And I am Ricky, and have signing off.